Hey guys, welcome to In Spades. Um, today I wanna to take you through my designer handbag collection. So the reason why I wanted to do this was just to give you some education and information on the bags that I feel are the most worth it and definitely worth my money and the investment because I carry them a ton and they've held up really well versus the bags that I've invested in that don't get worn very much and aren't necessarily the best uh, cost per wear investment. So let's dive in. Um, first and foremost, I want to start with um, what I like to call my diaper bag. Um, I picked up this bag because I was pregnant and I wanted something stylish to be able to carry my um, future baby's diapers, bottles, all that stuff in. Um, I hated the idea of like carrying a super ugly backpack or something else, so this is what I got. Um, the reason why I got this, um, it's the Saint Laurent Sac de Jour, by the way. This is the baby size, which is um, not the largest size, but towards the medium to larger size in the tumbled leather, not the structured. Um, I chose it because it has a detachable shoulder strap. So you can um, put this crossbody, you can carry it over your shoulder, or you can carry it um, just by the handles. This is worth its weight in gold. Um, I beat the heck out of it. It still looks beautiful. Um, my daughter has gotten like fingerprints all over it. It just cleans up really nice. You can just kind of wipe it right off. Um, I love the fact that the tumbled leather makes it more malleable so you can stuff it a lot fuller. I think with the structured leather that's a lot more pristine, you just don't have the versatility to be able to put as much in it because it's a lot stiffer. Um, this bag for me has been a major workhorse. I honestly am considering getting it in another color. I love it that much. Um, not many bags of this size have a shoulder strap, or if they do, you're spending a lot of extra money to attach a shoulder strap. This is all one package, totally worth it. Next, I wanna move into my very first designer bag. Um, this baby was, if any of you remember, it's the Reed Krakow Boxer Tote. Um, this was huge during the peak of, or what I like to call the peak of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I remember Taylor had this in like multiple sizes and colors and I was super jealous. Um, but yeah, it was my very first designer bag. I was in Las Vegas. Um, my husband and I were there. I had been lusting after it, coveting it for so long. We actually went into their store and he was just like, Let's get it, you, you need it. I love the cobalt blue color. Um, this has also held up really well. I've definitely um, beaten this up a lot. Um, it even got set on like a damp surface overnight and I didn't know and it cleaned up great. Um, one of the things I love about this bag is it's completely open at the top. There's no like leather flap or closure. I really like being able to get immediately into a bag. I don't like having to unzip something or like open up a, a leather flap. This is perfect for that. Um, the hard part about this bag is you can only carry it by the top handle. So if you're somebody who tends to put something over your shoulder or crossbody, this is a tougher bag. Um, I'm never gonna get rid of this bag. Obviously, Reed Krakow closed his label. It's been closed for years now. Um, so this to me is like an archival piece, plus it was my very first designer bag. Um, totally worth it. I used it every day for upwards of two years and I still pull it out when I want a fun pop of color. Okay, moving on to something else in the archive. Everybody remembers this bag. Um, it is the Celine Mini Luggage Tote. Um, mine is in navy blue. I um, ended up getting a, I, I booked a job that ended up paying me a lot more than um, I anticipated. And so I had quite a surplus and this was my splurge item. I bought this in 2013 at the peak of this bag design. Um, I'm never gonna get rid of it because it is Phoebe Philo for Celine. So this now is like a relic, it's an icon, it's a legacy piece. 
it's going to stay in my collection forever. That said, other than the first year I owned this bag, I don't think I've carried this once since then. Um, this is a very heavy bag. You can only carry it on the top handle, which is not um, practical for everyday use, at least not for me. Um, and it was expensive. Um, I know like people are reselling these like crazy, honestly not really sure who's buying them, but I do love it. Um, so I will say, I can't imagine anybody's considering purchasing one of these unless you are a total Celine, like old Celine buff, but this is going to stay with me even though I do not carry it. So cost per wear, not good. I'm going to continue on the big handbag trend, which has been over for a while now. It's actually like even starting to come back because it's been out for so long. It's now come back. But this Fendi was another purchase within the big handbag trend. Um, it does have a just a little tiny um, snap closure at the top, so you can keep it all the way closed. But otherwise, it's just a bag you reach directly into. Um, I really like this bag because the top handle is actually long enough to put over your shoulder. But like the Celine, it has suede lining. So it's really heavy and you can stuff a lot in this bag. And so it becomes really heavy really quickly. Um, the hardware also, it's like this gold enamel hardware also makes it a lot heavier. Um, this to me is like a travel bag. I don't carry a bag this big on a daily basis anymore. Um, and this is an older style, but just because it's black, it has Safiano on the front, which makes it super durable. You can really beat it up. Um, I'm always going to keep this bag as well. All right, moving on to something a little bit more fun. I love this bag. Um, this bag makes me so happy. Um, it is Anya Hinmark. I purchased it on sale. Um, this is obviously um, the Space Invaders line. It's um, from probably, gosh, like three years ago now. I did also purchase um, this bag keychain tassel. It's a ghost, obviously from Pac-Man separately, so that did not come together. Um, I just added it on. I love this bag. Um, I will say, again, it's an archive piece. I'm never getting rid of it. It just has so much personality. Um, every time I wear it, people comment on it. They love it. Some people don't recognize the Space Invaders. They think it's Tetris. Either way, it's really cool. Um, the opening is a little tough to get into because you have to pull it apart, but it does actually come um, with a detachable shoulder strap. And I really like that because again, it just gives you versatility. You hook it on either side and um, you can carry this over your shoulder or as a crossbody. So this is not something that gets worn very often because it does have so much personality, but I love it because it has so much personality. So never letting go of this. Kind of along that same line um, of the top handle triangular tote is um, this boy bag. This is the Carl 24. <clears throat> Um, it also comes with a detachable shoulder strap, which I love. Um, so you can make it crossbody or over the shoulder. This green color is so beautiful. Um, this buckle you can undo, and sometimes I actually do leave it open and just kind of like poof it out a little bit, which I think is a cool look. Not everybody likes that. They like it to be a lot more pristine. Um, this, I just love it's more of an emerging designer boy has gotten incredibly popular over the last i would say year and a half two years um, i'm constantly on the lookout for these bags just because when the color of my choice comes in i want to get it it's very functional it's very simple but it has enough personality that people remember it so especially for the price point um these bags are about a thousand dollars I think it's so worth it. Um, a lot of bags are just super, super overpriced. This one, while very expensive still, is just a really good price level if you're interested in a luxury bag. And because it has more of like an it girl underground mentality, it's not super mainstream and basic, which I love. All right, moving on. 
Can you tell I have a thing with like faces? Um, this is a Fendi Monster. It, it can be used as either a clutch or again, it has a crossbody strap, which I love, just like this little thin guy. This size is kind of like, uh, I wanna say like the size of almost an iPad. Um, it is more flat. You can see it's, you know, it doesn't have a ton of room to expand. So this is more of like an evening or a city bag. Because it has so much personality, it doesn't get worn very much. So I will say that this is something that probably only comes out, I don't know, once a quarter, which is not a ton if you are investing in something like this. But, oh my gosh, how fun is it? Moving on, this Saint Laurent bag is honestly the bag in my closet other than my sac de jour, which I purchased as my diaper bag, that I use the most. Um, this bag gets used a ton. I seriously wear it at least, at least once a week, usually about three times a week. Um, it does actually hold a decent amount for the size, but because it is the um, structured leather, this croc effect leather, it doesn't expand very much. So you're not gonna have the pliability, the malleability as you do with the tumbled leather. Um, but because the chain is so long, you can either double it up to make it short, which goes right under your arm, or it can be used as a crossbody. And I think that that's just so functional and beautiful. Um, because this is a patent crock, it also has held up super, super well. I don't ever need to worry about like this bag being too precious. It can handle whatever, like whatever you're doing with it. So I love it as a mom that I don't just don't have to worry about it. And it goes with everything. Um, it's just so pretty. It's the perfect size. Highly, highly recommend this bag. Um, to kind of replicate this bag look, uh, but in a different hardware, because I do firmly believe you should have a silver toned hardware black bag and a gold toned hardware black bag just for versatility in your wardrobe. I picked up this Prada. Um, I really like it because it is three bags in one. You can use it as a crossbody with this gold chain. You can take it off and just use it as a clutch. And it also has a belt bag strap. So if you want a fanny pack belt bag, this has you covered. Um, I adore this bag. My only complaint with it is it's too small. Um, I can basically fit my phone, my car key, like a credit card, a driver's license, and a lipstick, and that's it. If you like, also need to carry a pair of sunglasses with this, either your phone is coming out or your sunglasses are coming out. It's just not very big. Um, I say, it, I don't know, I'm not sure what the sizing is. It's like maybe five by seven, honestly. But um, I do love it because it is just basic enough to be very versatile and because it's a three of one. Another bag thing that I really love and I like investing in is collaborations. Um, so this Marc Jacobs bag is a collaboration with British designer, Julie Verhoeven. Um, it has like her moon and there's like a rocket and then it has um, the mouth, the lips on the strap. This is a really good size and because it's crossbody, it's super functional. Um, this was actually a gift and it was just a fun thing to receive because I love a limited edition exclusive collab. Um, because it is rather cheeky and playful, I don't carry this as much, but this is just a fun bag that I really enjoy having in my collection. Um, it has like the strap or the um, snap flap top and an outside zipper pocket as well as a little pocket on the back. So it holds a lot. Okay, moving on to something for travel. This also is a gift. Um, this is not something that I would actually pick out for myself, but I'm so glad that I received it. Um, 
It is a Gucci tote and it has canvas lining. So it's actually very, very lightweight. Um, it holds a ton. This is a travel bag, or if you are a working mom um, or just somebody who works and carries a laptop or notebooks or whatever, this is a great bag. Um, the very long shoulder strap makes it easy to carry over your shoulder without being too heavy. You can carry a lot in it. Again, it's not Saffiano, but it is kind of like this coated tumble leather. It's so, so lovely. It holds up well. I've had this bag over five years and I think it still looks for the most part brand new. So this was just a really nice gift to receive. I use this when I travel. Okay, so moving on to a set of bags that I wouldn't call like designer designer, but they, at the time when they first launched, were an emerging brand. They went totally viral. Getting your hands on one of these bags at the time when they first debuted was so, so hard. I have memories of calling like multiple stores that carried them, being put on wait lists to get the color combo you wanted it was crazy. So I feel like they have a place in this lineup and it is the Mansur Gavriel bucket bag. They really revolutionized this um, shape, not a new shape, but they brought this silhouette, I think, into the mainstay of like bag silhouettes. We all have our totes, we have our crossbodies, we have our satchels, and I think bucket bags are now a thing because of Mansur Gavriel. Um, this was my very first purchase. I, I don't know if you can see, but have carried it a ton. I really beat it up because um, it is the smooth leather. It does show nicks and scratches. Um, I got the ballerine inside, which is like this just lovely pinkish nude color. Um, the long strap is super, super friendly for over the shoulder, crossbody. I always tell people, if you have never invested in a designer bag and you want to stay under a thousand dollars this is such a lovely choice because it's classic it still has personality people comment on it and it's just so functional i love being able to reach right in and get what i need so because of that i ended up purchasing it in white as well so this is like my summertime one this is the tumbled leather I don't think they make this anymore or they don't make it in this color anymore. I'm so glad I have it. I will never get rid of it. This is such a mainstay for me. It's a lot more lightweight than um, the smooth leather. So that's great. Um, next, I did the patent in kind of a neutral color as well. This one is great if you're like traveling somewhere that has weather. I always carry this when I know there's gonna be rain just because it's indestructible in patent. And then finally, um, I went with the mini mini in the Saffiano. And this um, is the one that I actually carry the least um, because it is smaller, it doesn't hold as much. And um, this particular sh form of leather is really, really tough. It doesn't move at all. So the smaller size with the leather that doesn't really work with you makes it a little bit of an annoying thing to get into. And this like never stays tied, but I do really like this line and I highly recommend them. So those are the Mansur Gabriel totes. So the very last bag that I want to show you is actually my most recent edition. I love it so much. I carry it a ton. Um, and that is the um, Bottega Veneta pouch. Um, this bag totally went viral. There was a frenzy created around it, rightly so. Um, I was gonna go neutral with like the camel color, which I think is gorgeous, but I'm so, so glad I ended up going with the metallic. Um, not only is this gonna hold up a lot better, no scratches, no nicks are gonna be shown on this, but it just has so much more personality. And as this bag became more and more popular and more and more people kept getting the same color, I felt like this was just such a nice differentiating factor because not many people have this color. Um, if you've never held this bag or looked into it, it actually holds a lot. Um, it holds just as much as this, if not more. So I really like it for that reason. Um, and honestly, I don't really own a clutch. Um, everything that I have has the ability to either be a crossbody or a shoulder bag. So having a true 
evening clutch when I want to make it evening is great. Um, but otherwise I do carry this during the day a ton and I just get so many compliments. It just kind of fits so nice in the crook of your arm, just like this little pillowy football, which is so fashionable. So totally worth it. Um, I will say to recap, the Saint Laurent Sac de Jour is such a workhorse. I use that for every day. And then the Saint Laurent um, crossbody in the patent croc finish, amazing. And this baby, oh my gosh, I just love it so much. So I hope that was fun. I hope it was helpful, um, especially as you're considering um, investment bags. This is a great thing to come back to because I think this is like a good breadth of brands represented here. Um, people always ask me if I am going to invest in any Chanel and I will be the first to admit that I actually am not a fan of Chanel handbags. I know they're classics, but in Carl's reign, when it comes to accessories, I'm a Fendi girl all the way. So thanks for following along, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this handbag um, edition of the blog.